Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Diamond Denise. What's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's good? How it do? All that. <laughs> welcome. How y'all doing? Um, I missed y'all, and I just saw y'all yesterday. I wish I could talk to y'all more. Please leave me some comments down below. Communicate with me. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Or leave some comments and just say, hey, sis, like, <laughs> I ain't like that video. I want to know something. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel, though. If you are new, thanks for stopping by and joining us today. I'm so happy that you came and stumbled upon my channel and please go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified whenever I make new videos and if you have not turn that bell on down below so you can be notified whenever I post a video it is sent it right to your email you can click it and it's just easy breezy beautiful today it's motivational Monday and we're just gonna go ahead and motivate each other we're gonna motivate ourselves today I can get my phone we're just gonna be motivated together this this year is 2018 it's still january it's the beginning of the year why not there is nothing that should be stopping you right now you should be pushing forward moving forward moving fast doing whatever you have already set in your mind and said that you are going to do this year that's what you should be doing right now because it's only day 15 and let's go all right so today we're just going to talk about um something simple and it's just stress um I'm not really going into a lot of detail about it, but I want to motivate you to not be stressed, to be carefree, to have your issues and to not let them stress you out and define who you are. Like you're better than that. You, you are better than what is going on around you. You're better than your situations. You're better than what you're dealing with. You're better than your baby mama, baby daddy drama. You're better than your boyfriend. He might be cheating on you. You're better than my job didn't hire me. You're better than I didn't get hired yet. You're better than I'm still out of school. You're better than my grades didn't come out how I wanted them. You are better than all of that. And all you need to do is take up what's going on around you, pull yourself together, and go. And go hard and go strong. Don't sit and be complacent. Don't, don't be comfortable in the place you're in. Okay? So the scripture tells us to do what? I'm gonna tell y'all. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So he basically just told us that we can cast all our cares upon him. Everything that we're dealing with, every drama, every situation, we can just give it to him. And he's going to handle it. And that should let us have a peace of mind. Because the stress that we deal with and everything else that comes from us worrying about other things. You know what I'm saying? And if we stop, cut out the worrying, we'll cut out the stress. We'll probably live longer. We'll probably have clear skin. We'll probably be flourishing. We'll probably be living our best life. If we do those things. Simple things by just casting your cares to him. And not stressing about them and worrying about them and definitely not hopefully not putting them on other people we don't want to become a person that is a leech or known as a leech because we always bring our problems to other people people that can't do anything for us people that can't do anything with our problems i mean maybe if you need some money they can lend you some money this time but who's gonna lend you money every week every month maybe if you're going through a rough spot they can help you get out of that rough spot but what's gonna happen next time you go to that rough spot you're going to have to make changes within your own life so you don't go through those same situations every single time. And learn how to just give it to God. Um, one thing that I've known is people will sometimes bring their problems to other people, but in reality, all it does is makes that other person deal with your problem now. Now they have all this stuff you dropped in them and they're trying to like comprehend what they going on, what they have going on in their life and they are trying to comprehend what you just dropped on them. <laughs> like, can you stop? Hold it. Can you stop? Hold it. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't rewind. Take your problem somewhere else. Don't don't be a burden to other people. Don't be a burden to your friends and your family. Okay? Um, another thing that I'm reminded is that 
one thing you can do, which for me personally, I'm a planner. I write everything down. I have lists on lists on lists on lists on lists on lists. Um, <laughs> calendars, planners, everything. Like I just write it down over and over and over again. I don't even use my phone to keep my little notes in and stuff. I just always end up writing it down on paper. Um, it helps me, number one, see it. It helps me get it out of my own mind so I'm not just constantly trying to remind myself of what I have to do or what I have going on or what I need to do or what I need to buy or what I need to what I, what I need to easy. I was just like what 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 writing it down, getting it off your mind. And then when I go and I relax, I don't have to worry about that because I already know it's out of my mind. I either get the guy, handle it, do what it has to do with it, and I'm not gonna sit here and keep worrying about it and trying to think about it. Or if you are going through something, keep a journal, keep a log. It'll be a great timeline mark. Like that's gonna be a mark in your timeline to go back and reference. Like, man, on this day, I was going through all of this, but look at me now. Or on this day, I ain't see a way out. Like I thought this was the end of the world. This is how my mindset was on this day. Like I didn't think that I would be where I am now, where I am today, but thank God. I made it and when you look back that's usually what happens you're just like wow I made it wow I did this wow I came through that wow I thought I was gonna not make it I thought I was gonna pass it I thought I was gonna die I thought I was gonna be evicted or whatever you're going through you know it's always good to have something that you can reference back to so I definitely recommend that so I mean I know it's 2018 what a perfect month in January the best month of the year literally to go ahead and start making these changes now at the beginning at the forefront of the month now today every single day so by the end of the year you're not looking back saying oh i'll start again next year no don't waste any more time honey oh no honey we not gonna do that okay it's 2018 and don't say new year new me no ma'am you should be trying to be a better person each and every single day so it's 2018 you should still be get, becoming better because he started in 2017 just saying that's just my personal opinion i'm that new year new me thing is just like what you doing new honey okay sis let's just let's just cut it we're gonna cut that <laughs> all right things that need to be left in 2017 the new year new me phrase yeah that concludes this video. I'm encouraging you to de-stress, declutter, be free, okay? You're free. We're free. We're going to flourish and be free together. This is a year of manifestation, y'all. When I went home and I'm a, my um, bishop preached, that's what he said, it's a year of manifestation. And I really believe that everything that we want and everything that we've been desiring and everything that God has for us is about to come to pass. Are y'all excited? Because <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me some thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down um leave me some comments down below please for before and i will see you guys tomorrow and also if you haven't go ahead and subscribe once again and if you want to turn those notifications on turn them on so you can see more videos just like this and you can see more videos in general also let me know what you want to see this month because i still have a lot more videos to create and I want to make some stuff that you guys are willing to see or want to see. And if you don't like my videos, leave me some comments. Let me know why you didn't like the video, honey. It's not going to hurt my feelings, but it's great feedback. I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.